what do I do? Do I pay off my debt first or do I save first? Obviously, I want to do both, but how do I know which one I need to prioritize? If these are questions floating around in your brain, stick around. Before we can properly answer this question, we really do need to distinguish between bad debt and good debt or other debt. I don't know. It doesn't really feel right calling it good debt, but not all debt is vile. Some debt can actually be really beneficial, like debt that we use to purchase a property or to purchase a business. Debt that we use to invest in assets that can grow over time can be a really good idea if tempered with wisdom. And yes, that can include borrowing for education, investing in yourself, investing in your own capacity to earn more. Absolutely. But again, if tempered with wisdom, you don't ever want to lean too far over your skis and break your face. But good debt aside, bad debt is the one that we want to put a bullseye on. Bad debt is debt that we bring on for anything that doesn't grow in value over time, from anything from blue jeans to bubblegum to vacations, and yes, even vehicles. And I know we can make the argument that vehicles are an investment because we need them in order to get to work, in order to make money. I get all of that. But do we really need to borrow 50 grand when we probably could have pulled it off with 20 grand? Anyways, I digress. The point is you can easily justify good debt. It makes sense. And it usually comes with a lower interest rate as well, or at least a reasonable one. For instance, mortgages almost always have the best rates available. They're pretty much the cheapest way to borrow money, while bad debt almost always comes with higher interest rates. Just take a look at this website showing the best current rates for credit cards. And keep in mind, these are current rates, so they're always shifting as interest rates shift. But note, they're pretty much at least double the rates for mortgages. Now, of course, they may have some lower bonus rate that they're offering just to lure you in, but keep an eye on these as they have a funny way of ballooning on you as soon as the welcome honeymoon phase is over. And yes, you can put bad debt on a line of credit, and a line of credit is always pretty much going to have a better interest rate than a credit card is, but they're still higher than a mortgage. So the moral of the story is if you're going to have debt, have good debt and come up with a solid long-term game plan for how you're going to systematically pay down that debt and then do it diligently and consistently. But what if you find yourself in a spot where you end up with some bad debt? What do you do then? Do you take all your savings out and pay it off? Do you stop squirreling away money every month so that you can focus on paying down that debt? The answer is almost always yes. If you want, you can search online and you can find all sorts of calculators that'll prove this for you, but I don't wanna waste your time. All you need to know is that the interest rates that you get on your savings are almost always lower than the interest rates you pay on what you borrow. Just look at this website showing the best current savings rates. Even this one here that looks pretty appealing at first glance turns out to be a pretty big wah wah as soon as you look into it and find out that this bonus rate here is only temporary and is going to drop down to who knows how low as soon as that bonus period's over. So the math is usually a no-brainer and you don't even really need to think about it. If it's costing you more to borrow than you would make by saving, then put all of your muscle into getting rid of the debt. All of it. Even if that means draining a savings account, this will put you ahead. And then, once your debt is paid off, put all of your muscle into building up your savings again. This is the order of priority. No need to overcomplicate it. But of course, this is generally speaking. There are some scenarios where the interest on your debt might be tax deductible, and so then you're going to want to weigh that into your decision. Or you might be looking at an investment as opposed to savings. And so you're hoping that your investment will earn a better return than what the interest is on your debt. And my short response to that is, you might be right. You might do better, but you will not do better without taking on more risk. There is no such thing as high return without risk. Never. And that's okay. It's good even. But over the short term, if you're banking on the return from a risky asset in order to pay off your debt, that can turn around and bite you just as easily as it could help you. Anyway, what we're really talking about here is bad debt. That's the one that we want to attack with everything we got. It costs more, it stresses us out, and it steals from our future. And yes, sometimes it happens. But make it a priority. Get out of it as soon as you can. <laughs>